Hey everybody, welcome back. Why am I at a graveyard looking at a mausoleum or a tomb or whatever it's called as the thunder rolls in the background of a person named Cobb. That's because I'm at the burial place of Ty Cobb. Famous Detroit baseball player, Ty Cobb. He is buried here. This is Royston, Georgia. And this is the resting place of Tyrus Raymond Cobb, better known as the Georgia Peach. He's right inside here. It's a sad thing to come to something like this, which he, Ty Cobb lived a, a long life, but here, if you can see right inside there, you can see Tyrus Raymond Cobb, December 18, 1886, July 17, 19, 61 along with other family members this is not just his personal space resting space it's his family as well and we were driving through and i decided i'd stop by here and uh give you a few minutes to see where he's at so ty cobb is if you, if you hear stories of Ty Cobb, sometimes you hear a very negative context that he was a mean man. Um, there are myths that he would pistol whip people. I mean, that he would sharpen his spikes uh, to intentionally um, spike people. Like when you slid into, you know, the second or third base or to home and things like that. But apparently those things are truly myths rather than truth. Also, they they're one of the the myths, and I don't know how true these myths are, but that he um, he stabbed somebody. So he was he, he was in a restaurant, um, and he and he stabbed and killed a black man that was waiting on their table. Again, this is supposed to be a myth. I don't think these things happen, but uh, Mr. Cobb really became a villain in some people's eyes. Just for instance on how much these, got, these guys got paid, in 1927, Ty Cobb, this man who, who I stand at his, his tomb here, Ty Cobb made between 75000 and 80000 That was way more than most professional baseball players made. 1927, that's a lot of money. But can we compare that to the salaries that baseball players made today? I mean, these guys were like the working class of Major League Baseball. These guys, the, the baseball games back in those days were very, very low score games. They had to work. They didn't blast them out of the park over and over and over as we see today. I don't know. Um, I mean, the style of baseball was so much different. If you'll look at the pitch, pitching uh practices of then compared to now let's say they not having a pitching a mound to stand on to get that forward momentum and i don't want to get off on how you know different techniques and pitching and things like that but i'm just saying this guy came from an, a, an era when it was super tough to be a baseball player a professional the money for what they went through i guess was good for for a salary aspect but for what they went through um but he did he built his name he made it he uh he worked hard came from rural farming a rural farming uh family to one of the biggest names ever you know outside of you know babe ruth pete rose and names like that this this guy ty cobb was very very successful and to come here and to see this there's a museum here also with his his story and his uh some memorabilia and it wasn't able to make that uh museum trip but come here to see this i just think it's really interesting so if you're ever in uh royston georgia royston is i wouldn't consider it north georgia but it's on up here um look up royston georgia on the map and you too can stop by and see the final resting place of famous baseball player 
Tyrus Raymond Cobb, who lays right here with some other family members in the Cobb family tomb. I guess, is this called a tomb or is a mausoleum? Because they're in there like stacks. So maybe it's mausoleum. I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for, for watching this video. It's short, sweet, to the point. I was driving by. I said, let's go check it out. So anyway, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to Life's the Adventure. I'd appreciate it. Channel's growing, and I'm thankful for all that you guys that have subscribed. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video, notification bell, all those things, and uh, leave me a comment. Do you what, what did I leave out? I know there's tons. I mean, you have a man's lifetime that was spent in the in, in Major League Baseball. He spent like 22 years with the Tigers. I think six of those years he was he was a. Uh, a manager or something like that but anyway what a what a legacy he left some negative connotations that i think most were drummed up by hatred to, to him uh but anyway thanks for all you subscribers thanks for all your support and hey get off the couch go find something interesting to make your life an adventure see you later bye